area of history, uh, the, the role of cannabis, which has been with humanity for tens of thousands of years, as we're finding out uh, in, in our own time. Um, and uh, I'm here to talk about this unique building and what goes on at it and, and, and where it's come from is uh, uh, Jody Emery, editor of Cannabis Culture Magazine. Welcome to our building. Uh, this, of course, was all started by Mark Emery, my husband, who is in U.S. federal prison right now. He opened up Hemp BC across the street uh, back in 1994 to start selling books and magazines about cannabis and hemp and selling seeds and selling everything else related to cannabis and really started a lot of the activism and momentum that has been going on uh, in Canada and elsewhere. And he started this building, and we were just in the store up until 2008 when we expanded into these upper two floors. Uh, this floor has only been open for a few months, but we're proud that it is now open along with the Herb Museum by David Malmo Levine because we feel that this building should represent the cannabis culture. And that's why we call it Cannabis Culture Headquarters. So you can come into the store and see all the different hemp clothing and glass art and all the incredible books and movies and history about cannabis. And as you come up the stairwell, as you noticed, we have history all over the walls, courtesy of David Malmo Levine, explaining how cannabis and hemp has been around pretty much as long as mankind has been. And you'll hear a lot more about that today, of course. But then you get to the top of the stairs and you have the Herb Museum where you find out that mankind has been using and benefiting from all sorts of plants and natural substances on this earth forever. And of course, there are a lot of laws against that now and we're working to change that. And a lot of that work is political, but much of it has to be education. So with the museum finally open, people can come in and look at the history through actual artifacts and they can continue into this room or upstairs where they can meet like-minded cannabis culture members, people of the community who also enjoy this plant and find that it helps them a lot uh, in their life in whatever way it does. So. This is Cannabis Culture Headquarters, Mark Emery's Cannabis Culture Headquarters, and I'm so pleased that Chris Bennett has been around for a long time of the history here, much longer than me. There's only a few people who have been here working hard uh, as long as Mark has, and even longer perhaps, so Chris is one of them. He's done incredible work, and we've got his Urban Shaman store downstairs too, where you can find all sorts of incredible plants and magical things. <laughs> so it's an honor to have you all here, and I hope everyone online enjoys this uh, first time event for hopefully what will become an annual uh, meeting. So welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Deb. 